Office 365 versus Google Apps for Work. What is actually the difference and how do you decide which is the right tool for your company setup? There are basically two major, what we call cloud office tools out there. Cloud office tools, we say, is a tool that has everything a company needs or in the core needs, meaning your emails, your documents, your compliance, your administration, video conference. So to understand the difference between the tools and to make a decision that is good for your company, you need to understand where they're coming from. Whereas Google is native cloud, meaning they do everything online. Of course, you have offline features, but Google as a company is a very online driven company. Microsoft has grown out of the enterprise approach. They bought different tools together and brought different features together and established the Office 365 cloud from that. Whereas the Google product is like grown as one product. The effect that we see when we work for clients or implement one of these tools, when you bring something like Google, you have more of a change how people work and collaborate. You have to train and teach them a little bit more because it feels different, but in the end, it really accelerates how your people work and it makes them way more productive because the collaboration features are much better compared to the Microsoft world. Whereas the Microsoft Cloud is a good choice if you're deeply rooted into the Microsoft world. I'm not talking about having one exchange server or something, I'm talking about like, you run Microsoft Dynamics and all the processes, or your people don't want to change. It's like really a lot of cost if you would change the way they work. That's a major difference because with the Microsoft products, people tend to use the offline product more often because they're used to that. So they stick to the old Outlook or the old Excel, whereas with Google, people often say, oh, it's not the same product as Excel. I cannot do the same stuff because I'm using macros, which is simply not true. There is like, JavaScript running, which is way more capable of what macros can do. But people actually have to get used to that and start using it to see what is the potential. From the experience, we see that the Google company is typically a younger company or a company that also wants to attract young employees, whereas the Microsoft company is a bit more established with older employees, maybe not the high frequency of employee turnover and attracting young employees. So that's the difference we see between these two tools and that's how you can make your decision. So ask yourself, do you want to change how your people work and establish a new way of collaboration that we think right now is faster and better? Or do you say, no, we're so deeply rooted into the Microsoft world, it's too much of a cost to transform that because just bringing a tool to the company and say, oh great, now we're in the cloud and now we transformed everything that's not how it works. So you need to make a decision and there's more than just adding one tool to the company. So I hope that was helpful for you and uh, you can make your decision. If not, let me know. You can text me or write me a message. We have enough experiences to share and we're very happy to do that.